Hello, and welcome to Butch's Building Blocks. I'm Butch. Today I'm going to show you how to build a chess set. These are the pieces, full set, all carved on a lathe. I'm going to give you the dimensions for each of the pieces in a very short video of me carving each of the pieces. They're very beautiful. This is a competition size chessboard with competition size men. Well, let's go into my workshop and we'll get going. Here we have our maple stock, which we're going to be using to carve out our chess pieces. Each one of these is one and seven eighths inches square. The pods are two and a quarter high. The castle is three and a quarter our bishops and our knights are three and a half. The king and queen are four and a quarter inches tall. In the top of each piece, I drilled a three quarter inch hole. This will match the three quarter inch button on my lathe chuck sacrifice piece of pine. We'll fit it here. We'll screw this down and they will be tightly secured to each other while we're turning. Here's our cherry pond for the chess set. And here is the other side, the maple pond. I just have 15 more of these guys to finish up. Here are our two rooks. You just got done seeing me carve one of them. They're ready for our chessboard. This piece to do is the knight, because what we have here is a circular base and then a bandsaw cut outline. So the very first thing we have to do is to carve our base so that it's nice and round. After that, we have to go to the bandsaw to cut this out. I have a template for the top half. Once the circular base is carved, I'll center this over that circular base and then draw the outline of the knight. Now that we've got our pattern drawn, it's time to cut it out on the bandsaw.
this profile view and start the backwards light. We'll take it over to the belt sander and make these curves look a little better. So here it is. Here's the profile view. That's what the back looks like. We'll take it over to the belt sander and make these curves look a little better. Here are our two bishops finished, other than the slot which we have to cut across the top, but we'll do that on the bandsaw later. Okay, here are our king and queen. You can see the cross on the top of the king's head. King and queen match pretty good. Gave the queen a little extra decoration. Here's the end result from all of our chess pieces. You can see they have a very nice polyurethane gloss coat to them. They're all unique. If you're interested in a set or a complete set with board, Please go to my website, butchersbuildingblocks.com, and I'll get you some.